Tim, what's your initial reaction to Smith's decision to retire? Well, I can't say that I'm surprised. And you know, I guess the only surprise would be that it didn't happen you know, after the leg injury that you referred to, Matt. I mean, I think you know, Alex Smith has been through a lot. And you reference, you know, been a part of the NFL for 16 years now. Look, that's a long career, something to be really, really proud of, even as a number one overall pick. You know, doesn't win a Super Bowl, um, but accomplished a lot in his career. And I think in many regards, Matt was for a long time, maybe one of the more underappreciated quarterbacks in the National Football League. You know, didn't have the big arm like some guys had, um, but got it done in a lot of different ways. Was certainly accurate, a good decision maker, good leader, and I know well respected by so many of his teammates. Yeah, he's set to join the program today, 140 Eastern, and I'm sure this question will be asked. But Tim, you're you're a former athlete, a former quarterback, and an athlete. How much do you believe? This is all speculation. But I just want to hear from you. How much do you, leave, you do you believe? Perhaps he wanted to prove to himself that he could come back after that injury before calling it quits. I don't think there's any doubt that. Uh, there's a competitive nature in many guys, and I'm sure with Alex that, that that was part of it. 17 surgeries, and obviously we know it's been well documented how significant um, you know the situation was and potentially losing his leg. I mean, that's where he was. And Matt, to put it in perspective, he had already made $150 million playing football at that point. Think of how easy it would be to walk away then. You've made your money, you've accomplished a lot in your career, and then you're going through an injury that is clearly going to affect you the rest of your life. Walking away at that point, nobody, and I mean nobody, would have questioned his toughness, uh, his desire, anything like that. And that's what I think was so remarkable about his decision to come back and try to play. And oh, by the way, go 5-1 and one as a starter yeah. this past season – uh, it's incredible what he did. Yeah, when you look back at his career, I'm not, a, I'm not a big in career legacy guy, but now that we know the career has come to an end, what will stand out most to you with Alex Smith? That comeback. And, and I mean that. And, I, and I, I don't think it can be overstated. Look, he's not going to go down as one of the all-time greats. I think many people will look at it and say, look, as far as number one overall draft picks go, maybe he didn't live up to what the expectations were when you go number one overall. That being said, if you play in the league as long as he played in the league and you have the success that he had, and then you accomplish what he did in terms of that comeback, that's what sticks out to me the most. And... Um, you know, I, I know that there isn't a single guy that's ever put on a helmet or a pair of shoulder pads that doesn't have a ton of respect for what Alex Smith did in that comeback. And I think, Matt, you know, I've referenced him maybe being an underappreciated player for much of his career. I think that in many ways his comeback changed the narrative and how people maybe, uh, you know, outside looking in view Alex Smith. Again, Alex Smith will join the show today, 1.40 p.m. Eastern. Really an odd juxtaposition here, Tim, when you think about it. His college coach at Utah, Urban Meyer, getting ready to enter mm -hmm. the league as Alex Smith gets ready to depart after 16 seasons. Tim Hasselbeck, thank you. Alex Smith's NFL career started. He was first, number one overall, 2005. More famous for being picked. Well, we saw that Aaron Rodgers video throughout the night. Three-time Pro Bowler missed all of two seasons, 2008 for a shoulder injury, and then, of course, the brutal, devastating le knee, uh, leg injury in 2019. And, of course, he came back to win Comeback Player of the Year in 2020. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.